Yeah, that's right, Brent. Right now we're live atop the Fitchville Pond Dam. And if you take a look behind us, we'll show you what crews here have been up to. Take a look down into the Yantic River here, and you can see these very large sandbags. And this is that second dam that crews built. And it's important because this will take the pressure off of these dam walls and allow crews to get down in there and inspect it and repair it. But we also learned today that the person who owns this dam, well, he has not been communicating with state officials or us. Back breaking work in Basra. Building a second sandbag dam in front of the Fitchville Dam. That way we'll be able to take pressure off the dam. It'll allow crews to inspect and repair the structure. We'll be looking for cracks and loose uh, mortar and anything else, might tree roots that we might be, uh, give us an idea where that leak came from. That leak forced mandatory evacuations for business owners on Stockhouse Road, like Andrew Latour, who recalled a visit from the fire marshal. And he told me the water levels, if the dam broke, it could reach up around five feet, which would cover you know a lot of my inventory and flood out my building. Luckily, that didn't happen. But Fox 61 obtained this 2022 inspection report from state environmental officials, which revealed details about the dam's long neglected maintenance, citing major cracks, wall deficiencies, earth erosion, a sinkhole, and a collapsed wall. The dam's overall condition, poor. I think a lot of people don't realize the liability and responsibility until they get into it. The Fitchville Pond Dam is privately owned by Basra businessman Seymour Edelman. We paid a visit to Seymour's sand and gravel company in search of answers. But was told Edelman was busy and would call us back. Andrew Latour used to work for him. It's a responsibility to not flood out the rest of the town and you know parts of Norwich that you have to keep up if you own a piece of infra infrastructure. In addition to the inspection report, Deep sent us a list of enforcement action taken against Edelman, citing his significant noncompliance and failure to respond to Deep's concerns. And as of news time, Edelman has still not called us back. It's worth noting that private dam owners are required to submit an emergency action plan and then update that plan with the state of Connecticut. The last time one of those plans was submitted here for the Fitchville Dam was back in 1982. Across the state of Connecticut, there are over 4,000 dams that are privately owned. We're live in Basra, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.